Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for November 2nd, 2021. Well, what a kickoff to the month with the markets surging. Um, an unbelievable push to the upside. There just doesn't seem to be anything um, that is slowing down the bulls in in whatsoever um, despite having a lower ISM number a declining ISM number and a, a large decline in construction spending the market just didn't care it it hesitated for just a second and then powered right on through setting new record highs in the diamond spy QQQ and even the Russell even the IWM surged hard and came very close to breaking out to new records. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Oh my goodness, what a day we had yesterday. The party was in full swing. And now we're looking at a market that um, has new records all over the place and we just don't seem to care about any of the market internals. Um, the fact that all of these internals are starting to show a slowing in our economy, we don't care, we just keep buying. Today begins the FOMC meeting where we're going to hear on Wednesday afternoon whether or not the Fed is going to begin tapering its easy money policies. We're also going to start in to a slew of jobs data starting with the ADP before market opens tomorrow. And we also have just a huge number of earnings this week to contend with. So let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. One thing you got to say is the bulls have this under control. They are um, large and in charge, and they just show no signs of concern um, at all. Um, it's just buy just find something to buy and buy it and we continue in this very very steep rally um, to the upside with really no rest um, in between and as we continue to extend one of the things I want to uh, keep pointing out is if for some reason we do decide to pull back the pullback could be substantially painful um, just kind of keeping that in mind now we did break through this little resistance um, yesterday here as well and although we're showing just a little bit of weakness here this morning I'm not sure it's going to hold we uh, it's just a ravenous desire to buy up risk right now there seems to be no limit to the amount of money or no price too high for buyers to jump in now what that does for me is I'll tell you it makes me very nervous it makes me think that we will eventually run into a wall and when we run into the wall the pullback could be heavy hard and rather painful now with that in mind just just keep a close eye on how we have extended in here and just how much we could pull back if we do happen to stumble along the way but there's no signs of that just yet so kind of keep that in mind we could continue to extend who know who knows how much longer this can go i'm being me personally and i'm not suggesting you do this but i'm being very cautious here because i think um this um ravenous desire to buy up at any price is going to end up with a um a pretty substantial pullback and a painful pullback at that. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. SPY continues to extend in virtually, I mean, think about it, in how many days have we gone up with almost no pullback? We had a little tiny pullback right in here and we're just continuing to extend. Um, although, although we have had really remarkable um, economic indicators, um, showing holes in our economy, showing problems in our economy, but it just doesn't matter right now. It's just buy. So as we continue to extend, keep in mind that we are very extended um, 
in this index and the chance of a pullback could be rather painful. Now we could find a little bit of price support right in there. That would still be a rather substantial pullback if we pull back into that level. But bulls are in control. We are continuing to separate further and further away from our moving averages as well, which kind of um, begs that question, what happens if we do stumble? Um, I think there's going to be a lot of pain um, if and when that does occur. Keep. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, QQQ was just on fire yesterday. We pushed down early in the morning, but is a refuse to lose. It was just continue to drive higher, buy stocks at any price. It really didn't matter. Pushing things up, and you can see in the NASDAQ extending very strongly to that upside. And any rest or pullback, um, there's price support in here, price support in here, but those would be some pretty substantial and rather painful pullbacks should they occur. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, I got to tell you, really surprised me yesterday. It started to build slowly and then just took off like a rocket toward the end of the day, pushing hard. And as you can see, we broke that downtrend that I've been concerned about. It looked like we were gonna, going to fail in that area. But nope, we took our cues right off of this uh, trend line and took our cues off of the surging markets other place, uh, places and we broke through some resistance in the chart. But notice we fell just short. If I were to take this and push this up to the all-time high, we fell just short of making a new record high in the IWM. But it looks like this morning we're going to pump up there and try to clip that new record high at the open. Pretty darn remarkable um, on how this is going. Now we have to remember that one of the big reasons that we're moving up so substantially is because we've had oil prices continuing to surge. Every time we see those old oil prices go up, just keep in mind guys that that's increasing our inflationary pressures and the purchasing power of everything we buy and do. Right now nobody seems to care, but eventually I think they will and I think they'll really care um, one day soon. Now we um, have an interesting situation going on in our VIX. All day long, the VIX was moving up. We had the VIX moving up with the market, which is a little bit on the odd side. Notice that we closed here about 16 and a half um, handles here in the VIX. So not a terrible situation at all. I mean, we're not, um, we're not terribly fearful. I'm not pointing that out. But it was interesting as the market was surging, the VIX was moving up. And right at the end of the day, that last little bit of surge, right at the end of the day, push that back down and we ended up with a black candle on the day but notice that we ended up with a higher close than the day prior so um, kind of an interesting situation here in that VIX that we had it rallying or moving up as we extended out now keep in mind we still have this resistance level in here, resistance in here to deal with. Notice that we've kind of slipped out from underneath this downtrend, however. And if we slip out from underneath that downtrend and hold a higher low of support, um, that's where we could catch a little bit of selling. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now I gotta tell you, T2122 is telling us that we have a little bit of problem. I wanna pull this back and I wanna note to everyone, when we kick up this high in T2122, we invariably find a pullback. And notice that we are nearly pegged here in T2122. This trades between zero and 100, and we are very near 100 at the close of the day yesterday. So don't be surprised, um, even if we push a little higher the, today, that there's going to be, that the possibility of some selling or some profit taking could come into the market. So keep that in mind. We had Asian markets lower pretty much across the board last night because uh, real estate continues to slide over there and that possibility of stagflation. That's another thing that we're just ignoring, trying to forget about as we continue to push higher in these earnings. But just watch carefully. If we stumble here for any reason, 
um, China, some other country creating some issues out there. And the fall could be hard and precipitous. So just be really, really careful and make sure you're planning um, uh, to protect yourself if we see that pullback. Remember, take some profits when we're this extended take some profits then let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 is kind of interesting in that it rallied nicely yesterday um, we came back up into uh, not quite to a little bit of resistance in the chart but the good news is as we've broken that downtrend where we ended up holding this area as support so as long as we can see some of those stocks moving up um, out of that 200 day moving average that's bullish for the market Market. Notice we're approaching about half of our stocks, getting close to about half of our stocks that are above the 200 day moving average. So watch carefully. If we start to see some selling, that could fall pretty quickly as well. So just keep a close eye on that. Our T2101 was interesting yesterday and pretty typical in a big surge in the market like this. So, um, our T2101 fell pretty sharply yesterday and we're approaching the lower end side of that t2101 as we continue to tighten this wedge now i gotta tell you i'm not sure what this means but i gotta believe that this means that we are reaching an end or we're coming close to an end in this um, historic bull run in the market and um, i would be watching pretty closely as we continue to surge to the upside it kind of has that look and feel of a blow off top situation so watch that carefully then let's take a look at our t2108 um, now i don't normally look at this but i thought this was kind of interesting um, when i looked at this now no one looks at the 40 day moving average so it's i don't know why they use this as an indicator out there but let's take note here guys that we're setting new record highs and isn't this interesting we set new record highs in the market right here and we have fewer stocks above their 40-day moving average than we did here and fewer stocks above their 40-day moving average than we did here um, so that is concerning we're, we're running into that situation where more and more stocks are are being um, held down and we're extending some of these big tech names and things like that to continue this market moving higher how much longer that can continue I don't know but just watch that closely I do think it's interesting that we're running into the resistance in that chart as well let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today our economic calendar does have a few things um, to make note of but really not much today to be worried about um dog on it just a second there we go there it is and if you take a look we've got motor vehicle sales here today probably not going to be a big market mover today but watch it we we've got some short-term bond auctions and things to consider but the thing that will it will be on everybody's mind is the beginning of the FOMC meeting here today and that we will have an FOMC announcement at 2 p.m tomorrow and the fed press conference after that at 2 30 p.m keep in mind we've got factory orders and ism tomorrow and that adp report which will be front front and center first thing in the morning on that adp um, keep in mind that for the rest of the week we're going to be thinking an awful lot about jobs with the adp jobless claims and then that employment situation number on friday so watch carefully for those let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is a busy one today about 190 companies listed on the on the calendar now there are quite a few of those that are unconfirmed reports but a pretty big day of earnings so what that means is I can't cover nearly uh, um, even really scratch the surface of the earnings events here this morning um, and this afternoon so please make sure you click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can take a look and check out those notable reports today um, we're going to hear from Pfizer today 
Looks like Pfizer's moving up. Activision, we've got Activision on the list today. We're going to hear from Estee Lauder. We're going to hear from some energy companies like Devon Energy. We're going to hear from Cummins, CMI. We are going to hear from HLF. We're going to hear from um, LPX, Louisiana Pacific. We're going to hear from Ralph Lauren. We're going to hear from UAA, Under Armour, and we're going to hear from Zillow. So there's just a few of those that are in that notable list. We'll want to be keeping an eye on a lot of potential moving around here. Um, and it ramps up as we move through the week. So it's only going to get a little bit more extreme. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post uh, a video. And then also, if you feel like these videos are worthy, if you feel like like you've gotten something out of these, then um, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. And also a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel with Buy Me A Coffee. I really appreciate it. I'm excited about some of these changes that um, are coming um, as a result of that and um, I truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome by the way guys as we approach where we went over uh, 24,600 yesterday in um, subscribers so as we continue to move toward that 25,000 mark uh, please keep in mind guys that I will be um, um, sending out a, um, a one of these personally carved this, this is I do some more wood carving I'm going to be sending somebody um, a personally carved tree they'll be able to choose whether they want one with lights or without um, so that will be coming uh, your way to someone on the channel um, just as a giveaway um, when we reach 25,000. Let's take a look at the stock setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to be um, very careful, do your due diligence on these charts and make sure that um, you understand the risk of these trades. Let's take a look at Mondelez. Now Mondelez um, continued to set up yesterday. Um, however, it is reporting today. So you'll wanna keep a close eye on this, but I do like this pattern. Pattern. I like the pattern here in Mondelez where we're breaking the downtrend and we have this beautiful little inverted head and shoulders pattern setting up and trying to break through this resistance in the chart. So if we can get a good earnings report in this chart, um, how it may um, work and follow through, that could be pretty interesting um, overall. And, uh, you know, we're seeing quite a few of these um, consumer defensive type stocks starting to hold up now. So that gives me that little bit of clue. We may be reaching that little bit of concern point that we're stretched out a little bit too far in some places. And we're starting to see some buying going on in here, maybe a little rotation toward these uh, more conservative stocks. So take a look at MT MDLZ. Also, um, Constellation Brands yesterday had a nice little move to the upside. Now, unfortunately, it's gonna report uh, well, no, that's on um, January 6th. So we're in good shape on Constellation Brands. My mistake. So pushing through this downtrend, rallying up here. Notice we have a nice little bullish pattern here and a nice little bullish move um, yesterday in Constellation Brands. Trying to perk up and look a little bit better. Watch that closely. I think we probably should be keeping an eye. If you guys remember, I've been mentioning Fubo. And Fubo had a big rally yesterday, surging through this resistance in the chart. There's that downtrend break, that tried and true pattern, breaking through that move. I know quite a few folks in the Right Way Options group are in this trade um, and even took some profits yesterday. And watch this up here. One of the great things about breaking through a major resistance like that is any rest or pullback sets up a high probability trade where we can continue to extend to the upside. So 
keep a close eye on that. Fubo looking pretty good overall. Take a look at um, HOMB. HOMB um, moving through a um, pretty strong move here yesterday trying to break back above that resistance. Now we had quite a little bit of volatility where we sank down. As you can see, I was alerting right in here, trying to catch this if it followed through. And now when that volatility jumped in and we crushed it, now we're gonna zoom all the way back into HOMB. Um, keep an eye on that. Breaking back above this resistance in the chart, any rest or pullback would set up that opportunity to the upside. You guys know that I've been talking about plug and Ballard Power. I'm here for a while. Well, plug just continues to move hard to the upside. And we're popping through some resistance in this chart right in here, popping through some resistance. So watch this now, a little rest or pullback in this chart, a little consolidation up here just sets up more opportunity for plug power. And with all of the talk about green energies here recently, um, would make some sense that um, that could continue to look pretty good. Take a look at Ballard. Uh, Ballard Power also very, very strong. We need a little rest or pullback and notice we've got a resistance right in here in that chart. So either a, a, we stretch through that level or we just catch this little rest or pullback in here, consolidate back down into this trend and look for that next upside move. Um, along with that, um, Let's take a look at for solar for solar very very strong here recently this needs a rest or pullback as well um, keep a close eye on that any any pullback in there would look pretty nice take a look at Ford guys Ford continues to surge this is one thing that really bothers me about this market right now it's when something starts to move everybody just chases it it's just a rush and I gotta tell you, this will eventually punish a lot of folks. So what I would suggest is let's wait for the next rest or consolidation in here to find that next entry. Let's wait for that to engage out here along the trend, and then we may have that opportunity to move to the upside. So watch carefully for that as that continues to move along. Um, and let's take a look at um, FCX. Now FCX, um, trying to make a move yesterday and notice we're popping up against some resistance in this chart. Now I will not rule out the possibility that we could continue to rest until we slide out here toward this trend. So don't be surprised if we still have to do a little bit more rest in here. But I gotta tell you, if we break out above here, that could be a pretty nice move um, in copper. So keep a close eye on that. Um, looking pretty good overall. Um, I think there are a lot of energy sector stocks. And you guys know that I have mentioned um, stocks in um, ExxonMobil here recently. And ExxonMobil, breaking through that resistance. It looks like we're catching a little pullback today. We're trying to hold this level up in here. Let's notice this nice trend here in this chart. If that can rest in here, then we look for that opportunity to push on through. We've got a lot of those oil sector stocks reporting this morning. We heard BP this morning um, uh, besting um, its um, earnings results, but it is pulling back pretty sharply here this morning. So for some reason, we're hitting some good, strong earnings reports on oil sector, but we're finally catching a pullback. So watch that carefully. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I want to say thank you so much for all your kind support of this channel and the content. You guys are awesome. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.